hello. We're here in Santa Fe, New Mexico with Phil and Eleanor Beauvais. We are on Acequia Madre, that's the name of this street, which is also the name of the acequia that these houses are built along. It is an ancient man-made water system that's 400 years old. And it is still the system that provides water to all of these homes and a link to history. Um, this is Phil Beauvais, and he is the commissioner of the Acequia Madre here in Santa Fe. Hi, Phil. Hello. Well, today we're standing by uh, the Acequia Madre, and as you can see, that right now there's no water. We have water only one day a week now for, for our irrigators. And if you look closely, you also know that around the Acequias you get wildlife, and you'll see the raccoon tracks that are in the mud. Oh, yeah. And uh, just just to kind of point out these uh, the Seca Madre you can see is lined uh, with stone and, and wire and different different ways different parts of the ditch uh, since the ditch is uh, a little bit over 400 years old uh, and this area of Santa Fe is much built up from originally because originally the Seca was really concerned with large larger fields for growing beans and corn and squash and so on that needed irrigation. And now this area that has been used more for agriculture in the past now is all built up in homes. But people still have gardens, they still have fruit trees. Uh, this is a big apricot tree behind you here, there's apricot trees here, apple trees. Uh, most of these yards have fruit trees. They still have uh, small gardens and so on that we use the water from the Asikia to uh, irrigate. Very cool. So this is actually living in the neighborhood. People who come into this area via Asikia actually encourages them to use the water for natural reasons as far as gardening and, and things like that. Yeah, we do encourage it quite a bit because uh, we need to, when we have the water coming, once we divert it from the river, then it needs to be used. And it's not, not just to be pretty, and it's all that it is. But, uh, we encourage people to irrigate uh, every, every Monday, and it, and it does get all used up. The water we release in this end of the ditch uh, on that particular day usually only gets down to about what we call the, the, the new railyard yard park, in the, uh, kind of in the middle of Santa Fe. And, and that's done, uh, the way we release the water is done purposely so that it does get used up and the people do use it. Okay, can you show us where the source is or where your water comes from? Okay, I'll show you how we get water into our land. Okay. And then in a little while we'll go up and we'll show you the source on the river. Very good, thank you. We can just walk to that. 